Enough. Yes. You got a shock. No. I'm just surprised. The rules say, B will now be the Crown Prince's woman. She's been serving Ching Chang. Her behavior's proper. If you serve the same husband, she won't get in trouble. I know you must feel awful. But if you were to marry the prince, there will be other concubines too. I think you should go to Jiao Fu Hall and take a look. You should use this incident to make him feel guilt. Then he will be more agreeable. Yes. As you are now, you won't be able to focus if you stay. Go now. Also, don't quarrel with B. If Xiao tries something, then you must protect her. The crown princess has to be magnanimous. And you, Lu Jun will handle it. Stay out of it. Yes. Go now. I take my leave. Last night, did happen? How is he now? Prince Changguang feels awful. Listen, I have to tell you. Today, we found Yilang Yilang incense, an aphrodisiac in the room. Prince Changguang must have been set up. MB? How's she now? People are taking care of her. So that is why... Jafu Hall sealed off? But why are they... trying to keep this secret? It's for your good. I mean... Fine. Don't tell him. Pretend you haven't seen me. If he doesn't want me to know... And I shall feign ignorance. Lu Jun's thing. You were behind it? Uh, yes. Majesty, I wouldn't lie to you. Did I not say not to act on your own? But it's not my fault. B wanted to. Never mind. I found out she likes Prince Changguang. It isn't safe. A ticking bomb, right next to me. But she knows a lot of my secrets. I decided to push her onto Changguang so that he'll hate her. She won't be able to betray us then. Fine. It does no harm to have another pawn. Did you see how startled Lu Jen was just now? What if she was? More love means more hate. It's good. First was Xiao Huan Yun. Now, there's another. I'm not emperor or a prince. So you can drop your little acting routine. Poison or silk? You must choose one. Please let me live. Spare you. I do have that power. But I 
Suppose you know, in this palace, I've never spared a woman who came too close. To the emperor or to the prince. But I... I no longer remember last night's events. I heard you're clever. That seems to be true. But if I find out that you've told anyone... I swear I won't say a word. Let me go. No, I won't say anything. I swear I won't. I won't tell anyone. No, no. I implore you, don't make such a fuss. It's only an abortion potion. If you dare do it again, then I really will give you the poisoned wine. Tell Lo Tiqiang, stop playing her tricks. You aren't smart enough. To fight us, you do well to remember. Go! You're merciful. B. You did well. Lu Zhen has already found out. Why'd Concert Xiao tell me to keep quiet then? Ignore her. Our aim is achieved. That's what counts. Was it in vain? My sacrifice? <sighs> Consort Xiao's given her order. I can do nothing. You're really unlucky. You've given up your chastity and can't even be a concubine. <sighs> Huan Yun has taken care of the rest. B will not leave. She stays in Shifu Hall to practice Buddhism. Stop sighing. You should worry about dealing with Jen. Dan Yang said she hasn't slept since you became ill. Listen, just pretend that nothing happened. Don't give the game away. Got it? Jen. Been back long? Mm, not that long. Do you feel better? It wasn't serious. The doctor was just being paranoid. At last he let me out. Don't be worried. Oh. I'm glad. You must try and be careful. I know. I will. I'll be careful. <sighs> That's enough. Majesty. <laughs> Just a little illness. You're acting like he's dying. <sighs> Highness, don't make fun. Madame Xiao acted just the same way when you were ill, didn't she? As a woman, you will be sad. I know he must have been set up. He didn't tell me so I wouldn't be sad. But I really can't stand it. A smart woman must know two things. Faking ignorance, and then tolerance too. You are good at the first. You must learn tolerance. But I still feel terrible. 
When he touched my hand, I trembled. When he smiled, I wanted to shout, Stop pretending! Lu Jen, you will be sad for a period. You'll be fine in time. If you become crown princess, there will be many wretched things. And you must learn to face them and to accept them in a calm manner. I'll never accept things like this. Yes, all right. You won't be able to hide your feelings. You feel so much, you don't want your prince to know. And after this, he will feel awful. So for the sake of Prince Changguang, feign ignorance and tolerate. Understand me? But I can't pretend anymore. Then you leave. Go see the kiln. You can stay outside for a few days. And your sister's pregnant? Why don't you visit her? Spend some time. As her sister, you should be concerned for her. You want to go home? Yes. She's my one sister. I'm working hard. Please allow me to go and see her. Hold it. You never spoke like this to me. Jen, have you received some gossip? No. I heard nothing. Highness, pardon me for lying to you. When I went to Shifu Hall, Madame Lu already... <laughs> I see. So that's when you knew. Madame Lo told me. It was deliberate. Get up. You pretended so long. Jen, is this the reason you want to leave? I'm aware that Zhang was set up. I can't pretend anymore. I can't pretend I'm okay in front of Jan. I just want to be alone now. I'll come back when I feel better. You cry. You feel better. Please allow me to go back home. Okay. You may go. Go home for a few days. If anyone should hide, it shouldn't be you. Relax. Just leave everything to me. <laughs> hey, slow down. This isn't difficult. Why get so drunk? I want to pretend nothing happened. For some reason. Every time I look into Jen's eyes, I get the feeling she knows it all. She does not. I said, you're unwell. She will take that into consideration. So she's just being careful. So she doesn't wind you up. Remember years ago, you were the best liar out of us two. How come you're so bad at it now? I don't know. I could fool anyone back then, but... I can't deceive Jen. Acting this way, you'll give the game away. John, leave the palace for a little while. Go and see the new Chen Emperor for me. Take my greetings, and then Huan Yun. You could always go and visit her relatives for her. Just go. Some distraction. When you're back, this matter will have died down. Yes, I know. Please take care. Mm. Jen, you take care as well. Mm. Relax. I'm now a fifth rank. No one tries me. Well, I'm leaving. Hurry up then.
செஞ்சார் You're the root of my madness. And then Chen, there's a doctor. Chen, I know I've been acting strangely. Just ignore it. Wait for me. Yes, I will wait. Madam, you know, he's gone now. Get ready. We're leaving. Greetings, Highness. Yan Fu, what is all this? You remember? It is the winter solstice. These are some of the festive gifts from the concubines. Now, you know, this is good camel hair. Camel hair? Help me try. Sure. When I was little, my mother made me one. These days, it's all fur. This is much nicer. Who was this from? Highness. From Her Majesty. You may go. Yes. Yes. Please bless my Yen with long life, many children, good fortune, for Northern Chi's sake. I became obsessed. I was evil. Now, I've repented. Please bless us. Bless Yen. Please. Thank you, Buddha. What is happening? She's so much thinner. Recently was Lord Lo, no, Lo Jen's birthday. How could I forget? Lo Jen was Her Majesty's brother. When the family died, Her Majesty might not have spoken, but she still feels. You visit Xiofo Hall, but you leave so quickly. Also, maybe your attitude is slightly rough. And you never mentioned when she could return to Renshou Hall. As time goes, Shifo Hall feels like the palace. Now her attendants are becoming slack. I'm stupid. I can't manage internal affairs. Since Madame Lu's promotion, I've committed many mistakes. I deserve to be punished. But Highness, you can't be too cruel to Her Majesty. Have you seen the gift from Shifo Hall? She made you that robe, personally, stitch by stitch. She said at winter solstice, Xianbei custom is for a mother to make one, just for her son. <laughs> 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 
It all went well. Then what did he say? He didn't say anything. But Yuan Fu will send 16 more maids here. Also, he has put me in charge of the kitchen. John's not in the palace. What are the plans for her divisions? I'm to liaise with Wang Xuan, and I plan to put B in charge of apparel. <laughs> Soon it's New Year, when all divisions are wealthy. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> of all the ideas you had, this one is good. Hey, listen. While the prince is gone, put in the effort. I believe his majesty will change his mind soon. Hmm. <laughs> Since I got pregnant, I'm much better. Li Cheng's a cad, but I don't care. I'm content, <laughs> just with my child. He still goes to the brothel? Would he dare? He has taken two more concubines. The baby's an excuse. Zhu, are you sad about that? Of course, though I don't like him. I do feel uncomfortable sharing with these other women. I do not like it. For these things, time is the best medicine. But why did you ask me this? So his highness? Mm. Oh my, that's why you've not gone back. You've had a quarrel? It's about this? No fight. But we're... Both feeling uncomfortable. But what for? Did that woman cause trouble? Not that. He's feeling sorry. Although, I feigned ignorance. I don't know how to face it. <sighs> He's not contented. All men are the same. It was an accident, like a trap. When he found out, it was too late. Huh? Now he's sad, and he doesn't want to see me. He's left me. Just a trap? Then why wear this long face? He said he'd make her his concubine and break up with you? No. That settles it then. He didn't break a leg or poke out an eye. Why are you so sad? Because... You're unhappy? So go and shout at him then. You're a stupid man. You got fooled by a woman. Do it again and I'll bite you. <laughs> then you'll make him kneel to wash your feet and buy you things. Listen, let this anger out. Then you'll be fine. But if you keep it all inside you, it'll become a big problem. But can I? It's a fact you're way smarter than me, but I know more about marriage. I've lived it, so listen to me. You just can't see the big picture. So someone set him up to get to you, but what are you doing? Instead of just getting over it, you treat each other like this. You're giving the villains what they want. You got porcelain clay for brains. Where is he from? Half Xian Bei, half Roran? The nomads. Don't worry about that sort of thing. Some men marry their sister in law. He's sad because he's worried for you. You're definitely the love of his life. When are you going to get over this? Greetings, Your Majesty. Consort Xiao. Please rise. Thank you. Lu Jen, you're back. So you've sorted through your thoughts? Mm. You've returned to Hangguang many times, but you forgot everything I said. Before now, you promised to take good care of John, to be a good and helpful wife, to please the emperor. One problem, and you run straight home because of a little problem. That's no princess. Hey, Huan Yun. Okay then. 
to internal affairs. When you left, Zhuan and Lo Qingqiang quarreled. Right. I'll go there at once. Majesty, madam, I'll leave now. Wait. Jen. A letter arrived. John will be back here before New Year. Oh, that's good. At last she's back. I was worried she'd be depressed at John's return. Huan Yun, about New Year, mm. I'd like to talk with you. Okay. Mother is still in Shifo Hall. She's so thin. She's devoted herself to prayer. I believe she's changed. Huan Yun, would you mind if I brought her back to Renshou Hall during the New Year greetings? The rule is, Imperial official families will pay their respects at Renshou Hall. That is the rule, so I can't alter it. <laughs> Huan Yun. I knew you'd support me, but what are we going to say to John? Sister! You left me in the palace. Don't you care about me? Of course I care. I'm here now. Here, I brought nice food. Look here. Rose cake, pearl candy, even crispy cookies. I don't care. Be really picked on me because she's smarter. And because my rank is inferior. If not for Miss Du and Miss Young, I don't know what. It's okay. Stop crying. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you alone in there. Dan Young, you've grown. You can't stay at my side. I can't protect you forever like I used to. Here, let's see. Aren't you doing fine? She didn't hurt you, huh? Mm? Listen, I do care. When I was away, I often checked the work record. Danyang, you did great. I'm really proud of you. You are? Of course. You're an official, and you'll be my new assistant. Sister. <laughs> Just stop crying. Lu Jen has the Yin Seal. And she took the three divisions back. She has no respect for me. Also, she ditched over half of our chosen suppliers, then brought in new ones. She's fully prepared. And when she heard about it, she came to the palace and she won more support. <laughs> Forget that. I have power. Unlike a month ago, we have the Empress. <laughs> Jen will be there for New Year's. Therefore, anyone who counts will get to see who shall reign next year. As long as you're here, then to her, it's a big problem, and we strike. Hold on. How about this? While she's not Crown Princess, we have many chances when we can get to her. That is our time. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Highness. Just five kilometers. That's good. Let's leave now. Get to Ye Chung. Hey, Uncle! 
So did that incident not bother him? It's all thanks to Miss Lou's letter. What did she write? When His Highness read it, he was shocked. It was crazy. <laughs> None of your business. It's about them. If they're happy, praise Buddha. Huh? Uncle? When did you become a Buddhist? Whoa! John. Long time. Welcome back. Greetings, Prince Zhangguang, madam. Rise. Your Highness. Chen, wait in Qingjing Hall. B has something to say. I've been avoiding you since what happened. Since I'm back now, I shall apologize. I'm sorry. Highness, just hearing that, I have no regrets. Highness, you're the crown prince. It's my good fortune to have your favor. From now, if I may, I will stay at your side. I cannot. Our beginning was a mistake, so it can't be continued. To my mind, it wasn't a mistake. Highness, you know, I've always fancied you. Yes, I'm aware. But sadly, there's just one woman for me. Highness, you are wrong. I'm not trying to vie with Madame Lo. I just want to be close. I don't need a status. P, if you really do like me, you'll detest seeing me with any other woman. If I yield and accept your offer, then I'll be hurting you. I'm already your woman. Don't panic. I'll find you a husband. Money for your family. But I don't want any of that. I only want you. Sorry. It's called a honey trap. You wanted to be princess. Why are you crying? You have got bigger fish to fry. Once they're fine and they've reconciled, after that's happened, I think you'll be dealt with first. Who cares? I know how to deal with them. 
Huh? He is heartless. And he will pay. I must let them know that Shen Bi cannot be used and then simply thrown away. Chan. Chan. Don't worry. Nothing will stand in our way from now. How did she take it? It's settled. Lu Jin still had many questions to ask of Gao Zhang, but she had started to understand something. Sometimes the greatest trust in love was to hear nothing, ask nothing, and to say nothing. Get up. Majesty. You all serve His Majesty. Do so with all of your heart. So His family continues to flourish. Of course, of course Your Majesty. Majesty. Her Highness has arrived! May Your Majesty, Majesty enjoy, enjoy great fortune and long life. Please rise. Majesty. Xian, you rarely come. You must come and chat with me later. It's my pleasure, and I can't wait. It's been a long time. Highness, don't worry, she is staying. Now that you've returned, she'll be here at least until spring, before she has to go back. Good. Madam Wong has arrived! May your Imperial Majesty enjoy great fortune and a long life. Please rise. Majesty. As harem officials, you'll devote yourselves to His Majesty. B. Bad manners is a crime. I deserve death. Please forgive me. Come on now. It's New Year's Eve. Stewards, take her away. Hit her with sticks. Please don't, Your Majesty. I cannot take a beating. I can't do it. Please, no. Mother is right. It's New Year, so let her go. Just kick her out. Gratitude, Your Majesty. Are you joking? I deserve death, Madam. <laughs> Fetch me Madam Lu. You are so shameless. Confess. Who is your adulterer? Can you hear me? Tell me who it is. Stop! We don't need to hear this filth. Take her to Infernal Affairs. No, don't send me there. It's my baby. It's Prince Changwan's child. Please. What is this? Take her outside and get the doctor. Yes. Wait! Don't go in. What is it? Jan, 
You must remain calm. His Majesty is handling it, but something's up. I feel it. She's pregnant? I saw her drink the abortion potion. I took it so many times. That means there's just one explanation. A fake pregnancy. I think so. What if her baby is real? She's smart. Now the doctor is sure to check her out. The doctor can lie. What matters? John, answer this. If she's pregnant, what will you do? I haven't thought. John, don't blame me. You can't keep this child. Empress Lo played her tricks, came to Renshaw Hall, then this happens. Something's up. Bees with them. If you have the child, she will move into your household. John, it's like a spy, next to you at every moment. And think about the premature deaths that always touch Imperial children. I couldn't do that. If this child is really mine, I'll protect him. So what if that child murders Lu Jen and me? How could it? It's an unborn child. Empress Lo would control him. He'd be a terrible weakness. If she defeats you, they would kill both of us. Listen, I would never let that happen. The most important thing now is to confirm whether B is telling the truth. 